Hello Guardians, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video, finally after weeks of not making one, might I add. And today I thought it'd be a good opportunity to actually talk about the 30th anniversary pack by itself. Because I did talk about before about everything in the Witch Queen and the 30th anniversary pack, but obviously because of that titling, you know, people might have known that I've already covered 30th anniversary pack. So I'm going to go over it again while Steam updated, I think a few days ago now, and I have like all these images ready to show as well. So, yeah, let's just get started. There's no other way to put it. So I'm going to read the description on Steam, and we're going to go from there, basically. Like, talk about the various aspects of it, what I think of it, and then go over the images and do the same thing. So, celebrate Bungie's 30th anniversary with a new dungeon. The Galahorn Exotic Rocket Launcher, Thorn Armor Set, and an arsenal of weapons, gear, and cosmetics inspired by Bungie's past. 30th anniversary pack owners also gain access to additional cosmetic reward chests in the free Dares of Eternity activity. Grasp of uh, av av Avarice, I think it's, I, I don't know how it's pronounced. Plunder the new three player dungeon inspired by the famed Cosmodrome loot caves of yore. Reveal a tale of riches and regret as you follow an adventurer who traded his humanity for treasure. Treasure galore. The exotic Galahorn returns alongside new weapons, ornaments, uh, sets, emotes, sparrows, ghost shells, and more. Pack your inventory with rewards that represent 30 years of Bungie, a legendary community, and a birthday party that could only happen starside. Because Bungie's kind of, or <laughs> Destiny is kind of its only game right now for Bungie. <clears throat> so, yeah, ba basically I've described most things there. Uh, honestly, I don't know why, but I feel like there's a lot more to this event than that's led on. Got, of course, like a lot of people are already speculating that like we're actually going to be going through um, or getting uh, bits of lore on like Zer's backstory, which would be kind of cool. It'd be cool to see that. Even though, like, if I'm being real, one of these days, well, I say one of these days, Bungie will do it, but like they already have with the old strikes. But I was going to say, like, they don't have to always tie everything into lore, but you know what? They do, and that's fair play, you know? If they want to do that, they can. So, yeah, again, I'm sorry, there's not really much to talk about. I kind of just described most things there. I'm excited for it. I think I wanna, what I really want to talk about more is, like, the screenshots. So, here's the screenshots on screen. I'm probably going to show one of them after another, or I might play them one by one. So, the first one I'm looking at, uh, <laughs> I've titled it 30th Drip. And it's the three guardians in the tower by, I think that's the Bazaar... And they have different armor sets based on like various different things in Bungie and their games. Obviously, middle guy can see the spike uh, needler. Sorry, not spiker. The needler uh, gun on it, literally on his arm, like a part of it. And obviously, it's the same shade of blue, isn't it? I think it is. I'm trying to remember because I've literally just been playing Halo Infinite like last week, like, and I can't remember already. Uh, of course, we have the, uh, what you call it, a hunter wearing literally a jumper and thing. But it makes sense as well because, like, you can see the cloak behind him. And, like, he he's just kind of vibing, you know? He's just kind of wearing some casual clothes to the battlefield, like. I think that's kind of cool, like, they, I, I kind of like when they do that sort of stuff. Or what, if they're going to do more of it, should I say? Because, like, it feels nice just seeing, like, guardians in casual, like, clothes instead of always in armor. It's, like, another avenue for them to customize, you know? But yeah, just look at that. And I think, like, okay, if I'm being real with you, the coolest set has to be, like, the Warlocks one. There's something about the black and blue that just makes it look so cool and the, like, coat itself. It's Again, it's probably from a game. That's probably why it looks so good. But yeah, there's not other uh, comments I can make on this, really. It's just, it's just really cool to see, like, how creative they could be with the armor, seeing as they're pulling from Bungie's history for this armor set. And it... Obviously, they don't need to tie it in game as an uh, explanation, technically, because all we could just say is, "Oh, the nine gave it to us, and that's it." You know, like there's nothing else to it. You know, I'm not gonna lie though. I forget. I think no. I think this is the ornament set, and obviously the next one, um, the thorn armor set. Whenever we come across that, that's also like the uh, that's also going to be an ornament set, a part of the 30th anniversary pack. And then will we get new armor then? For the loot cave and thing? Because I assume we would, right? It'd be weird if we went into the loot cave or... Yeah, we're just going to call it the loot cave lost sector. I can't... Oh, I already can't remember its name. And the um, Dares of Eternity. Like, I'd say there'd be some more. Unless, like, Dares of Eternity is going to do something like... Oh, 
here's armor you thought died ages ago, sunset. It's coming back now, you know? It'd be cool if they did that. But anyway, moving on to the next image, I'm seeing the Dares of Eternity, what seems to be entrance into the treasure room. Because there's another image that I might just show now that actually shows, like, the treasure room itself. And, you know, it looks the, like, very, <laughs> it looks the same, you know? Man, there's something about that just looks nice. Like, the nine stuff always looks nice. I will admit, though, <laughs> like, one thing I want to say right off the bat, like, if the um, dungeon has, like, taken her hive, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that, you know? Like, all the previous dungeons we've had have had, like, hive and taken. Like, we, we need to switch it up a bit, you know? Like, it, it kind of gets boring facing the same enemy in the dungeon. It's like when the Cabal never got a raid in Destiny 1, and then they got a raid. And, like, a lot of people probably at the time were like, eh, it's not really the kind of Cabal raid I was expecting. But you know what? It was still the Leviathan, and man, I kind of do miss it. I'm not going to lie. I actually want to play it right now. But anyway, sorry, back into the image. Again, there's not really much else to talk about. People have already pointed out the two Guardians at the front are, like, wearing, uh, or have guns on their back that look like Halo weapons. If that's true, that's really cool. But I don't expect them to play much different. Unless somehow they've like made a whole new archetype just for them two weapons, but I doubt it though. It'd be cool though if they did, but I don't think Bungie's gonna really introduce a new weapon archetype like halfway through a season when we're gonna get the glaive in the Witch Queen, you know? So if anything, the weapons are probably gonna be reskinned, but hopefully like they keep their like sound and stuff as well. Like I hope it's not just like Oh, it just sounds like a normal pulse, and it's just acting like a pulse, because this lore reason here, and this lore reason here, you know? But yeah, it's pretty cool. Obviously, you can see Zer in there, and then the chest as well. The next thing, <laughs> I just thought I'd pop it on screen anyway, is the nice, lovely Galahorn set. Uh, I was going to say set, because I'm thinking about the next armor. But, um, yeah, there it is, just Galahorn. But yeah, again, not much else to talk about. It's just Galahorn, and it's coming back with the dungeon. Whether it's going to be... Uh, an exotic quest or you just earn it from playing the dungeon is unknown honestly i part of me was like i i kind of hope you'd have to earn it from the dungeon um like you know as a random drop but seeing how eyes of tomorrow and um uh, vex mythic class are still not in my inventory yet i'm gonna take a pass on that <laughs> you know because like they gave everybody galahorn last time and like rise of iron why not just do it again you know but again it's up to bungie and what they want to do with that the next thing I'm showing now is the armor set. And I think, I don't, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think someone said this was like a, a marathon themed set or something. I'm not sure. Like the only Bungie games I've played is Halo and um, Destiny. So <laughs> you can correct me if I'm wrong on that. But now that I think about it, this, this is the 13th anniversary and the Thorn set. I think they're the ornaments. And I think this will be the armor. Probably available either in the dungeon or in the... Um, uh, dares of eternity because it'd be weird if it was just like a random world drop oh look you randomly got something from bungie's past it makes sense as well though if it's from the dares of eternity pulling from the past you know and putting it into our oh uh, sorry pulling it from another universe and putting in our material universe or chemical sorry that's the actual words uh here i've just called this one the iron gala wing 2 because like there was a gala wing a uh, gala wing sorry and like it, it was obviously different than the one that's being shown right now on screen. And honestly, it's cool, but I'm still not going to use it until, like, they decide to nerf a very specific sparrow, which I will not mention because everybody would be mad at me if I was the person to get that sparrow nerfed. Just saying. Unless it's already nerfed, I haven't noticed, but yeah. I haven't been able to test it in recent time because uh, I, I kind of haven't been playing Destiny 2, I'm not going to lie. Here, um, I believe, is, like, an actual screenshot from within the dungeon itself. Um, I don't know why nobody's talking about this, but what are all the white cr crystals? Like, is the, am I the only one asking that? Unless it's, like, very obvious what they are, and I, I'm just being stupid. But, like, obviously this one has to be on Earth. I think that rock... Uh, <laughs> those rock formations in the back, they do seem to be originating from Earth. And if I was to assume between the EDZ and the Cosmodrome, it would have to be the uh, Cosmodrome. I was going to say the EDZ. And obviously because the dungeons and thing. Because I doubt this is the Dares of Eternity, unless they teleport you to, like, random planets when you're facing enemies or something, you know? And let's move on now to the Thorn set. I know there's a, another image I'm missing, so I'm going to throw a few of them up now, in case I forget. I know one of them, Zer standing with his horse with a wheel in the background. And I can't remember the other one, but I think there's just that one in particular I want to throw on screen before I forget, because it's, uh, it's not in my folder right now. But I wanted to just comment on that picture real quick, that, like... 
obviously when we go into Dares of Eternity, it looks like they're going to be choosing an enemy type for us to fight, and you know we go from there, fight the enemy, and you know keep on going. You know, now that I think about it, it gives me like Prison of Elders esque kind of uh, vibes now. But anyway, foreign armor set. There's again not much to comment except that it's just cool. It's really cool. Might wear it, might not. Maybe the uh, bond, but that's really it. And yeah, let's move on to the last picture, the treasure room. I've already showed this, hopefully at the start with the Dare to Be Thirty um, picture. But as you can see, it's literally just a treasure trove room. As far as I'm aware, I don't know why nobody's pointed out, but there's a Titan statue kind of just <laughs> just casually sitting there in the back. Oh, and I also noticed that the um, ball in the middle is, um, I think that's Jupiter. Yeah, I think that's Jupiter upside down, because I think you can see there the um, big red dot. Well, it's not really red right now, but like, you know, it's still a dot like. So like, I think that's a mini version of Saturn. And I think people were saying that um, something about Xur like originating from one of Saturn's moons. I can't remember which one it was. So that kind of makes sense why that's there. And obviously the other thing you need to know is the floor is laced with like all sorts of like treasures and stuff. There's even a ship anchor there, I just realized. And um, obviously the chests themselves seem to be good. If they are what people are thinking they are, then like you can choose what chest you want to actually go for, for a certain piece of like armor or equipment. And I think there's a mod one there in the middle as well. So that's pretty handy. So there might be some new mods as well in this event. And might I mention as well, it's really generous of Bungie to just be like, you know what, there's of Eternity, you could be free for everyone, why not? And like, I know people might complain like, oh, people who bought the thing pack, um, I definitely didn't buy the 100 euro pack, what are you on about? But anyway, like, people will complain like, oh, you get extra stuff, but like, so what? Like, you know, everybody's still going to get the same loot, it's just going to take people who like, have the pack faster, you know? And, like, if you really care about Destiny, you know, you, you'd be playing it more, like... I don't know. I think I'm spitting out a controversial uh, take here, so I'm going to stop before I <laughs> get too far ahead. But anyway, Guardians, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, obviously like it. Uh, comment on what you thought of the video and the 13th anniversary event, and if I got any details wrong. And subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. I hope to be continuing Destiny content soon, because there'll be the 13th anniversary that comes out, then the dawning... And then it'll be the end of the year, hopefully then, like, you know, more stuff will appear. Maybe something with Sabathun's story might continue eventually, maybe next year, you never know. But other than that, uh, if I make a Halo Infinite video, then uh, I don't know what's wrong with me. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.